Hello everyone and welcome to the review of the JJ Pro uh, made by JJRC Hex entry level aerial photography drone actually this is really entry level if you take aerial photography into uh, account because this is more like a selfie class drone uh, similar in size and uh, functions with the Hubson H501 series and also with the Bugs 2 GPS series so it's a small quadcopter with built-in camera it's full HD camera it has GPS uh, and GPS position hold it also streams uh, FPV to your uh, mobile phone in this case and that's about it uh, we'll see uh, other functions or features uh, and where uh, this is placed between the other models so it has a flight protection also called an electronic fence it has automatic return to home uh, you can change the camera but they only give you one camera with this model and there are no other cameras on the market for it and it has a, a two cell uh, lipo battery 2000 milliamps and those are all the specs so let's take it out of the box and we'll see more about it in the box we get a manual which also comes with an additional leaflet for uh, installing the JJRC application because this drone uh, will stream uh, it on uh, wireless and it doesn't use regular FPV but it uses 5 GHz FPV actually it's not FPV it's uh, wireless on the 5 GHz band so you need to be sure that you have a mobile phone that has that working band otherwise you will not be able to detect the camera and we will not have video actually my mobile phone currently doesn't have 5G band uh, I'm waiting for a new mobile phone so hopefully until the flight test of uh, this drone because I cannot fly it uh, now uh, we have uh, very bad weather uh, until my mobile phone comes maybe the weather will get better and I will be able to connect to the camera so that's a warning you need a appropriate mobile phone right so this is the full HD camera it has a micro SD slot here it has uh, not one but two antennas sticking out one here and one here it seems that they are in a v-shaped pattern which should provide better uh, signal coverage and as the lens it comes of course with a protection foil over it so let's see what we get in the small uh, pockets here there is a key for holding the motors and putting uh, on the propellers or taking them off a screwdriver a micro usb cable and here we get a mobile phone holder which by uh, looking at the design seems to clip on uh, the controller and the drone itself which comes with a battery rather uh, pre-inserted but it has a protection tab here so let's take it out yes the battery was inside so it's a 2000 milliamp high performance lithium polymer for UAV and look at that beside being a uh, dedicated battery and uh, uh, let's call it proprietary battery uh, this one has a micro USB port here and as you can see there is no charger in the box so actually this battery will charge uh, on uh, a USB port and the charger is built inside which is good and bad altogether because probably this will take ages to charge uh, the good thing is that you don't need additional wires or thing like that just a micro USB cable plug this in and come back later and uh, finally charge so I like the designs idea but I don't like the waiting time and uh, being a proprietary battery means that you need to buy several of these original batteries if you want to fly the drone more right uh, interesting thing is uh, being a two cell battery there is a space between 
cells and that means that the battery uh, can have uh, a better cooling and this will also prevent uh, uh, damage because the battery can uh, swell a bit in flight so it has space to expand and this should provide a longer lifespan of the battery interesting they did all of that with that battery the quadcopter itself uh, is um, very sturdy it doesn't have flexing arms like the uh, hubson they don't flex as a bug to also has flexing arms this seems to be very sturdy there's no flex at all so it should be a more agile flyer it also has uh, a hair from a chinese here interesting um, i hope the motor works yes it works uh, it also has uh, reduced size uh, as I look at it well at least it seems that way I don't have my uh, Hubson uh, right now uh, to compare it but it seems a bit smaller than the Hubson and underneath the quadcopter it's the transmitter which looks more like a hobby grade transmitter than a toy grade transmitter uh, it has here a position, a three position switch. It has working buttons. We'll see if they work or not. And they even added an LCD screen, which is nice. It has the metal holder, which also makes it more easy to handle. And of course, when you can uh, put it on the table like that, it will stay like that and it won't scratch and bump on the rear of the transmitter so the metal holder is nice we also get propellers in the box and it's an odd number we get three A propellers and three B propellers so it's not two sets it's just one set and uh, one uh, spare for each type of propeller uh, they could have least put another two propellers and call it a two set not very nice of them so let's see will this power on or not before uh, plugging in the battery and turning it on I'm also going to install some batteries into the transmitter I have installed the battery so I'm going to power on the transmitter and look at that uh, it's very nice, it has an inverted uh, LCD screen which shows uh, telemetry, GPS status, it has actually a lot of information there. We are going to take a closer look immediately, so I'm going to now power on the quadcopter. I have inserted the battery, it just clicks into place and it has a release tab here. I have not added the camera now because I will add it. Uh, without any kind of reason because I will not be able to connect to it So the quadcopter starts with a push here The transmitter has beeped that probably it has uh, binded with the drone And let's see what we get. So we get a battery indicator for the drone which shows 99% so the battery should be full we have a transmitter battery here, the number of satellites, uh, the flight mode which is uh, here, it's altitude hold and with this position switch here I can change it to GPS mode, GPS mode uh, lights up here also but it also keeps the altitude, so it has altitude and GPS and this is the return to home which shows a blinking home icon here which means the drone will return back to you so those are the flight modes and now the switches are this one here will switch to take a photo mode you see this cursor here will jump to a picture each time you press this it will take a picture if you press the down button here underneath it it will switch to video mode and it will start a video recording the start button here will change the speed mode from low to high it has only two rates while the other two buttons here 
don't seem to do anything oh yes they do something they have auto take off and auto land and for safety reasons you uh, don't have to click them shortly because they will do nothing but if you keep them pressed for a longer period of time it will indicate uh, auto launch and auto land the last button here it's the let me show you it's the headless mode which I never use uh, it will keep a relation of the drone with the position you launch it and even if it's reversed like that when you are taking uh, uh, you are pointing the drone to go uh, left it will go left even if it's the drone's right because it's rotated uh, that's kind of confusing it may help beginners but it's a bad head, uh, habit to pick up so it's better to avoid it learn to fly it without headless because that can cause trouble a lot of trouble later so that's the menu we got a lot of useful information I'm curious to see how the distance works because I don't know if the transmitter has a built-in GPS and without that the only mode that the distance will work it's actually the distance from where the drone has taken off and that we will calculate the distance until the drone goes to a place and returns there so uh, that should be entirely related to the drone's GPS unit inside let's now unlock the motors for a quick test to do that you are going to put both sticks down and inward and those are the motors you see they have a self-tightening procedure they accelerate briefly two times that is uh, to tighten up the props in case you forgot one that it's not entirely put on uh, the whole screw so uh, that may avoid you some uh, troubles uh, in case if it happens but always be sure to tighten up the propellers and don't count on the self tightening motor spinning procedure that this uh, drone has so that's it that's for the first part of this video as you can see the drone is rather advanced for its price uh, entry level uh, you may call it also because of the camera I don't expect very good quality of it and being FPV it will be choppy and probably it will have also reduced range but I'm waiting for the phone I'm going to test it and see that later of course I'm planning to use some better cameras with it and maybe add some proper FPV to have a real nice quadcopter with GPS position hold uh, probably you are going to ask what to choose this one the Hubson or the Bugs well I'm going to place this uh, actually now between the Bugs and the Hubson I'm going to say the Hubson is better because it comes with proper FPV and this one may be slightly better than the box too uh, but we'll see about that i'm not going to pronounce about it i'm just going to test it and see that after the proper testing but the hubson should be uh, over it because of the proper fpv and a larger hobby grade transmitter with built-in lcd fpv receiver so that has more features that also has follow me it has orbit this one doesn't have which means there's no GPS antenna in this after all uh, they can implement such things with using a mobile application on your smartphone but it's getting complicated and we all know that application on the phones are not the best way to control a drone they are fun they make them easy and portable but you will not have the same precision as using sticks so until the flight time be sure to follow my next upload and uh, you will see it then bye bye